Seriously, though, you guys really have a canine neutering website? Let's Talk About the Music is wanting your sponsorship to advertise on the show's podcast. Anyone, anywhere in the world can advertise. We're especially looking for small businesses, event and festival coordinators, and venues. For pricing and special offers, go to letstalkaboutthemusicblog.wordpress.com. Honeysuckle Studios and Design is graphic, web, and promotional design you can trust. Specializing in small business and startups, Honeysuckle Studios and Design offers budget-friendly services for logo design, business cards, posters, brochures, menus, marketing materials, social media, full websites, and so much more. Check out samples of work at HoneysuckleStudiosAndDesign.com. Then call 253-353-5678 Monday through Saturday to schedule an appointment. church that's closed for the night You keep me wrapped You keep me dangling Oh Just for the sound Scroll cross sheets Yeah, I scroll your name I bend to the foot of my door It's on last for the breeze to walk through in hopes that I wake next to you.
Cardinals won. I love this band. They're from Colorado, and I just love these guys. These are so awesome guys. Anyway, I'm Shells. Let's talk about the music. And tonight we are talking to uh, Candice, uh, some Starlight Music Chronicle, and she brought with her um, five different musicians. Every half hour we've been listening to them and talk and having a conversation. And to this time, we have a brand new one. Hi, who's this one? Candice? This is my very first interview ever, and her name is Rachel Wozno. Hi, Rachel. Hi, thank you guys so much for having me. You're very welcome. Now, we were talking um, in the back burner that you are 19 years old? Yes, I am. <laughs> and so how long have you been um, been a musician? How, when did you, what age did you know you were a musician, I should say? Yeah, well, I've loved music and I've loved singing my entire life. I was definitely that little girl that would, you know, walk into the grocery store with her mom and I would be singing and I'd put on little shows and performances for my grandparents at their house. So from a very young age, I always just loved music and I can't remember a time where I didn't want to be a singer. So as the years progressed and went by, um, I really wanted singing lessons and that was my biggest thing. I I really wanted to learn, you know, how to sing professionally with a vocal coach and um, I got connected with my vocal coach, Carolyn Quinn, who is still my vocal coach today, and I was, I believe, eight and a half, nine years old when I got connected with her, and now 10 years later, we've just been continuing on this crazy, fun musical journey. (laughs) Fantastic. Now, do you write your own music? I have written songs. I I, I definitely love writing music. I think it's so much fun to be able to express yourself through song and to be able to put certain feelings and emotions into the music that you get to release, you know, as as yourself, your own original music. So I definitely love writing songs, and I think it's, you know, super important that music is, you know, honest and comes from you. Mm -hmm. So I agree. Totally agree. Totally. Now, now, is this your now is this your first album, or are you still working on an album? So basically now um, what we're kind of working on is we've been working on single releases. So um, I recorded my first uh, original song when I was 16, um, and it was a really fun pop R&B ballad called American Boy. Um, And that was when I really kind of found my sound as an artist, and I knew you know what, let's let's keep making music, let's keep releasing music and seeing what happens. So um, then I went to Vancouver and I worked with some incredible producers there and that's where we uh, basically came up with Big and Loud and recorded Big and Loud. And that's a really fun um, kind of a pop dance song and I love it because it's about taking chances and living life to the fullest. And I really want my music to be fun and I want it to be something that people can listen to and dance to and something that, you know, people can put on at a party and just, just have a good time to. It sounds like fun. Uh, I can't wait to l- uh, play your song here in a few months either, so I'm excited. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> now, are you, now all the musicians so far I had on here are, are about to go on tour or think about going on tour. What about you? Yeah, no, I love connecting with a live audience. That's definitely one of my, my favorite parts of, you know, getting to make music is connecting with the people who love your music. So um, I would definitely love to do a tour. Um, I'm really excited to release a new song soon, um, and I'm really excited to, to put that one out there and see how it does. I would love to do a radio tour and go around since radio has been so amazing to me. Um, Big and Loud actually has been released in both Canada and the United States. Really? Um, and it actually debuted, yes, and it actually debuted on the U.S. Billboard Top 40 Indicator Chart at number 38 above Ariana Grande, and it peaked at number 30. So radio has been incredible to me, and I would love to continue to, you know, connect with the live audience and definitely visit some radio stations with the next song. Fantastic, guys. Congra- congratulations on Top 30. That is like a big Wow, that's cool. Thank you. I have an A list. I have an A list on my show. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. A list. <laughs> Thank you yeah. so much. <laughs> Thank you. You know, it was it was incredible to to find out that it had cracked top forty. And just when I thought it couldn't get any better, we found out that it had climbed to number thirty on the U.S. Um, United States Billboard chart. So that completely blew me away. And you know, from from now, we're just trying to see where can we go from here. And I want to constantly improve, and I want to constantly create better music. And I'm really excited to put out the next song and see how that one does. Oh, I cannot wait to hear you now. You know, you now you you now did you say you're working on an album? Because if you do, I will love to get it. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, well, my goal is to uh, put on another single. Um, and then from there on, I'd love to do an EP. And that would, I think, be our next logical step 
is to record an EP, which is about five or six songs. Mm. And I would be really, really excited to put that out and just share people, you know, kind of a collection of my own original music. So I, I, that would definitely be something um, I would love to do in, in, the, in the near future. Fantastic. Outstanding. Now, um, thank you. Yes, that's I, now I'm just wow. I'm actually been you know, I've been impressed with all the musicians on here, but get an A list. Oh my god, I'm, I, I'm speechless. <laughs> and having a talk thank show host you. be speechless is actually a good job. Oh well, thank you so much. That that means so much coming from you. Thank you. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Okay, so I have big. <laughs> now you may mention throughout the segment here about Big Loud. Um, so yeah. What more of the song can you tell about the, to the audience? But Big Loud. Pardon me. Now the big, now the Big Loud is is, is what you gave me to play on the song. This is your top top yes. thirty one. So tell yes. me how this song <laughs> came about. Yeah. So basically, Big and Loud is I was kind of um, saying briefly before. It's a song about taking chances and living life to the fullest. And I know just being involved in the music industry and in the music business, it's definitely taking a chance and living life to the fullest. And since I've been involved and I've been performing now for more than half my life, it's definitely just been something that I, I have learned, you know, I've learned so many things and I've definitely learned to not be afraid and to take chances because, you know, I, I firmly do believe you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So I really wanted a song that would kind of represent my journey and inspire others to follow their dreams as well. Fantastic. Here you guys go. Here is Rachel, <laughs> big and loud, big A-list herself. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my 